up guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my first impressions and a little bit of a demo of me using the new pure nails easy build trial kit so this kit is available on nail polish direct but i got mine for christmas so i was super pumped to sit down and share with you a little bit of a review and demo of me using it so if you guys would be interested to see my thoughts on this trial kit and also what i came up with using it then just keep on watching So guys, before diving into the demonstration, I first wanted to share with you the contents of the trial kit. So with this being a trial kit, the bottles are 8ml each, but they are readily available in larger size bottles. So if you favoured one, you could go ahead and get the bigger bottle. So in your trial kit, you will get your base coat, you get your top coat, and then you get six different colours of their builder gels. So this kit retails for £25, that's what I got it at for at that time, but then when I was looking on the nail polish direct website they were selling it for 29.99 so it seems to have gone up after christmas So jumping into what is actually inside, here is the base and top coat. Again, these are both 8ml but are readily available in 15ml if you required it. So moving on with the builder gels and we first have cover up peach which is not a peach at all it is most definitely more of a milky chocolate brown colour. And then the next cover gel that you get in the kit is called Covered Up Pink and is more of a sort of a peachy pink shade. And then we have the clear one which is perfect if you're just looking for natural extensions that you could go ahead and just paint over. Then we have the first of the two translucent sort of gels that we get in this kit. So first up we have Dare to Bear Peach and this one is a really nice sort of warm peachy orange shade. So I think this one would be absolutely perfect for those with darker skins for a really nice natural nail. And then also in this kit you get a white builder gel and this one is absolutely perfect for French ombres or even French tip nails but you could even use this as a full cover nail so your gel polishes that go on top will just simply pop. And then the last and final gel in this trial kit is Cover Up Pink, which is a really nice sort of light bubblegum shade and is perfect for those with light skin tones and was one of my absolute favourites from the whole collection. So guys, now that you know everything that is in this kit, I'm now going to jump in and show you me having a little play with it. And I must admit, I absolutely love these and I will be adding a few of these to my collection. But I will discuss the ones that were my favourite at the end. But for the purposes of the demonstration, I have already gone in and prepped and primed my nails, dehydrated, did my cuticle work and applied my forms. And I'm now going in with a layer of the Halo Base Coat and this just protects the natural nail and helps give the gel something to adhere to. 
So going in with the first of my builder gels, I'm using white first to build my tip and I'm just basically using the bottom of that brush to really form the shape that I want. Again, it doesn't have to be completely perfect right now because we're going to be filing later on. So I do drag that up to about the middle of the nail just so it helps later on with my ombre. And I do that to all of the nails and when I'm happy with that shape, I put that in my LED light for 60 seconds to fully cure that first layer. So guys, as you can see, this product is really easy to work with. I didn't have to chase it around the nail, so it gave me that perfect time just to go ahead and work on that shape and not worry about needing to fix the cuticles or catch any running gel. So I think it's absolutely perfect for beginners. And if, like me, you like to take your time doing your nails, then this per this product is absolutely perfect for that because, like I mentioned, it has got that right consistency that you are not chasing it. So now that I've dried that first layer, I do pinch the nail before I go in with a second layer of that white and I'm with the second layer I'm just using that to cover any of my natural nail that was still visible through that first layer and then I fully cured that nail for 60 seconds. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clean up any of that excess gel that had got onto my sidewalls or cuticle area before I pop that into my light to fully cure that layer. And then this is what the nails look like once I have gone ahead and applied two coats to each nail. They totally reminded me of teeth and they were freaking me out, I'm not going to lie. So I got decided to go ahead and take my nail file at this point and I just refined the sidewalls and also the tip and gave the surface of the nail a little bit of a buff just so when I went in with my covered gel later on it wasn't too overly bulky. So now I'm going in with my cover gel. So this is Cover Up Pink. This is the warm sort of pinky shade of the two cover gels. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of my favourites from the collection and the most perfect shade of cover pink. So as you can see, I'm just adding this to my nail and I'm completely covering that white area. And I do go ahead and do this in two coats, being sure that I have refined the side walls of the cuticle area and also added enough gel where the white and the cover gel meets that that line isn't too harsh and then I fully cured that nail for 60 seconds. And now I'm going in with my 180 grit file and I'm going to go ahead and start refining those nails. So I first start by going in and making sure that the side walls are nice and sharp and then I refine my tip, my cuticle area and then buff the whole nail so I have a nice even surface. And this is where you'll start to see your French ombre appear and this is great because you could do as much or as little as the white as you wish. And then for my very last layer of gel, I go ahead and pop both of those colours onto my paint palette and I use my gel brush. And this is just so I could go ahead and blend those colours together because I found it so much easier to work with my actual gel brush than the gel brush that was in the bottles because then it added too much gel, if that makes any sense. So I first go in with that cover pink and I just refine my cuticle area and then I slightly drag some of that pink gel down into the white and this is going to be what I'm going to work on the blend with. And then before curing that pink gel, I take a small amount of that white gel and I go ahead and mix those two colours together and really sort of use a feather sort of motion really to work on that blend just so that line doesn't look as harsh. And then I go in with a little bit more of that white just to add it to the tip so the tip doesn't have any of that pink gel on it and it has a contrast between the blend line. And then once I've applied that gel to all of the nails, I then go in with my file again just to refine that nail plate and to make sure I have removed any imperfections. And I do the same with my nail buffer just so I have a smooth surface. And then I went ahead and sanitised all of my nails and I'm now going in with a layer of the Halo Nails No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And I apply this to all of the nails and then cure them for 60 seconds. And then I just wanted to share with you guys what the French Ombre looked like on its own before I went ahead and painted it later on because you can most definitely go ahead and leave this just like that as it is because I think it makes a really beautiful nail. 
So guys, when I applied these nail tips, I was doing it with the intention that I was going to be wearing these for a while. And I must admit, I got so bored with the French tips in about 15 minutes. So I did go ahead and redesign them. And I wanted to share with you exactly what I did for that. So I did go ahead and file those nails till they were slightly thinner enhancements. Just so when I went in with all of my gel polish colours and top coats, that the nails weren't too bulky. And then I went in with two coats of Misu's Hello Fall number 04. And I cured each coat for 30 seconds in my LED light. I actually got this polish as a free gift with a purchase about a year ago. I haven't used it before and just found it when I was cleaning out my shelves and just had to get it on my nails. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then for the ring finger, I went ahead and buffed that slightly and now I'm going in with a layer of that Halo Nails base coat. And then to that wet base coat layer, I'm adding some a, a Glitters Black Magic, which is an absolutely gorgeous, really fine glitter with lots of different colours in it, from blues to teals, purples and dark blues, and it really just gives it this absolutely gorgeous finish. So I just sprinkle that on that nail, tap off the excess, and then cure that for 60 seconds. And then using my duster brush, I just go ahead and remove any excess and clean around my cuticle area and just look how sparkly this glitter is. It is absolutely gorgeous and if you don't have it in your life, you most definitely need it. So I just wanted some simple nails this time. So for the ring nail, I'm going in with first my Blue Sky Decor Gel and I apply this to all of the nail. And then I go over that with some Nail Nails Mega Gloss. And then to that, I'm applying also from a, a Glitter some Volcano Swarovski Crystals and also some Burgundy Delight Swarovski Crystals as well as some Caviar Beads. And I first start by going in with the Burgundy Delight ones and I put three of them right down that nail and then I put two of each of the volcano ones in between all of those larger sized Swarovski crystals and then I completely surround the big Swarovski crystals with some of those little caviar beads and to apply them I'm also using my Ink London Pick and Place and then I fully cured that nail for 60 seconds just to make sure all my bling was fully in place. And now I'm going in with my cuticle oil. I have already gone ahead and washed and sanitised my hands and applied my hand cream. And now I'm just working that cuticle oil into my skin and then I leave that to set. And finally guys, that is us reached the end of today's video and I really hope you enjoyed my first impression slash demo of the Halo Nails Easy Build Trial Kit. I absolutely love this product, it was super easy to work with and if you could get it at the cheap price, highly suggest it. But remember that Nail Polish Direct have up their price, so I would probably suggest having a look around or going direct for the product. And finally, to finish off today's video guys, if you are interested in any of the products that I have mentioned in today's video, please check the description box and I will leave everything linked down there for you as always. And if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up, I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie, I am a complete nail polish addict and on this channel, you will find everything from nail art to swatches, reviews and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that notifications bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!